that, Scotty? Uh, we are out in the garden. <laughs> I'm getting. Uh, Hold on, I didn't even know we were on here. I'm sorry, Scott. That's okay. You know, that's, that's why right. he gets paid the big Boy, bucks. I'll tell you what, working with you sometimes. <laughs> now, seriously, okay. you do use the heck out of this. I do. To that's measure uh, how that's deep the water is. Exactly. After I water, I go ahead and push that in the ground. If I can't push it in the ground about three foot, I mean, it three means wow. you didn't water deeply. And that's what it means on these big trees. You've got to water these trees about every two to three weeks right now. Approximately three foot deep, Scotty. Okay. The reason being is because we don't want roots doing this, and this is called porpoising. You can see this right here because this tree wasn't really getting deep water because the garden guy uh, forsaked his uh, his duties. So those trees started porpoising, and of course, right up on that tree, you can see some girdling roots. We started cutting those guys away. Okay. And this time of year, it's not a bad idea to start thinking about cutting those away. We expose that root flare. We're using that blower that's sitting right there, your Ryobi, mm -hmm. one of your favorite products. And here's some of the roots we were taking. Away. Way. That's called girdling roots. Bob, go over to that elm, evergreen elm over there, and we're going to show you a totem pole. As he's pole. doing that, we, you don't want to cut the big ones, though, right? Yep, those you big do? ones have got to come out of there, Scott. Really? And that's above my Even these grade. that come out of here? Not those. Those okay. are porpoising roots. Okay. But you can see over there, let's talk about that evergreen elm. It's going straight down in the ground, folks. That is not what your trees need to look like. About 90% of the trees out there in the valley look like that. And everybody calls me up and says, why is my tree dying? Go up to the canopy of that tree there, Bobby, and you can see it's slowly declining. We're going to have to go ahead and expose this. And we do this about every 5 to 10 years on these trees. Very important that you do this. If you don't, well, invariably, you're going to have what we call failure to thrive, kind of like what Scott's got. Failure it, to thrive? Yeah, failure did you, to thrive. <laughs> did you just make that up? Well, yeah, because you were sitting right beside me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but you you throw at, that out like it's some professional garden guy term. It is. I just made it you up. You mean it's, it's not growing. Because it's a garden guy saying Failure to thrive. <laughs> oh, you got the OFTT? <laughs> oh, my gosh. There that's you go. The OFTT. But look up there. You can see this one does not have the problem of failure to thrive, OFTT. <laughs> And you can see it up there because of the fact we've exposed a root flare. Scotty, you to college to learn that seriously. Yeah, I didn't even go to college. I just spent a lot of time playing in the dirt. Don't pay attention okay. to him. The other thing we're doing, we're doing. The, Scott, are you finished? Yes. I'm okay. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> we're making a little bit of compost tea. Come on over here, Scotty. I want to show you how to do this. These are those elastic strainers we use in our paint buckets. Have you ever painted and used those guys? Once, That's once, full of all kinds of compost. It came okay. right out of here, and this is what we call compost tea. In that compost tea. Well, let me just put this beside. Step back, step back there. We don't no, want to get this get on, on my shoes. But in that, we've got compost, of course, and then some grandma's molasses, uh -huh. a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, a little bit of liquid seaweed, and maybe even some vinegar. Just add that, a little bit of cup or two per, and then we spray it on all the plant material, and we call this foliar feeding. We do it on our trees, too. And we do it about every five to eight weeks on all the plant material, including our trees, to create that, well, basically making sure our trees don't have failure to thrive or OFTT, as Scott says. There you go, dude. All about you. Of course, uh, if you ever have failure to thrive or OFTT like Scotty's got, compost tea is your okay. best elixir. And uh, here's a hint, April. <laughs> If you got some work boots and you don't actually work like uh, this guy, hey, okay. you hey. spill the, the no, no. tea on your boot and it makes Sunflower, it look like you've been working. Sunflower, those are real working boots right there, girl. <laughs> you know all about that because I know your father's a hard worker unlike Scotty. I mean, you know, oh look at his shoes, look at mine. I mean, what? look at that. that is, <laughs> where do you buy shoes no. like that? I can't. I'm not getting in the middle of your dispute. They look like no. something that Peter Pan would have or something. Oh, man. <laughs> I like Peter Pan. Oh, my God. <laughs>